It's supposed to be active games stuck on here, and today is the tenth day of Bookmas, I think. Today's the tenth day of Bookmas. Woo! If you don't know what Bookmas is already by now, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description, which is to the first day of Bookmas where I explain <coughs> everything. I believe who went first last year? Me. You? No. No. It's me. It's your turn? No, I did the first book. Yeah, it's you. It's my turn. Yeah. Okay. And it's first prizes. Like a lot you of get the first. Cool. So, right. it's my turn. Oh, oh, this is a history. Is all you left me by Adam Silvera, who, if you don't know, wrote They Both Die at the End, which I'm still crying over on the inside. Uh, you can go ahead and watch her review, which will be in the description below. Uh, shameless plug. Uh, it was an incredible book, and so I'm super excited to see more of Adam Silvera. I hope I'm saying Silvera correctly. Uh, and to see History is All You Left Me, because that book was wonderful and horrifyingly sad. And so, I'm excited to have my heart broken all again. This was recommended by the, the, the Sarah the Book Dragon. So, thank you so much, because I'm super duper excited to read this book. Also, I believe that he recently released a collaboration book, this isn't it, with Becky Abertali? Becky Avertali, who wrote Simon vs. Homo Sapiens Agenda. So, whoa, intense. I'm super excited to read more of his writing now because it's really good. And I got a Cooper Cup, Becky Avertali book. Whoa, intense. Cooper, open yours. I, I'm I just feel talking like so I can open this, yours. I feel like this is, I know how it's wrapped. What, what does that mean? I'm the point. I feel like, like I know how this is wrapped. Yes, I mean. Yes, oh. like I'm the. This is, oh, the story of Dr. Doolittle. Exciting. Um, Who's Dr. Doolittle? I never actually read Dr. Doolittle when I was little. I watched like the first 15 minutes of the movie uh, somewhere. I think it was on like DVD or VHS or something. It was like a random experience. Uh, anyways, Dr. Doolittle has filled his house, this house with so many of his animal friends that his people patients can bear it no longer. In fact, he likes the animals better and he can talk to them too. One day a mysterious call comes from Africa. The monkeys are all dying from a horrible epidemic. Sorry, I don't know that's so funny. From a horrible epidemic. To the rescue, Dr. Doolittle sails off to help the monkeys, and there he finds the extraordinarily two-headed, I don't remember how to say this, Pushimi, Pushimi, you? possibly. Uh, yeah, exciting. I don't know why that, just this, possibly. just this sudden mention of all the monkeys dying from a horrible epidemic uh, was shocking, but also very amusing to me for some reason. And this was recommended by Nudging Charlie 13. So thank you so much for the recommendation. Thank and you. Cooper, I'm sure Cooper is very excited to read his book, and as you know, I'm certainly very excited to read this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to press the subscribe button down below to see more videos like this and to see what we get tomorrow. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Or what we, or what the present is, which we get today. Ooh, hit that subscribe button. This is a